Hello and welcome for our new Vintage Chronicle. Today we will describe the 1982 set of action figures available on the market. But above all, I would like you to subscribe to my channel by clicking to the bottom right here. It allows me to give you more information about vintage Star Wars toys. So, 1982 is the very last year dedicated to the Empire Strikes Back with nine new action figures. There will be two special offer figures but no Sears exclusive figures offer as Return of the Jedi come the year after with maximum secrecy. So let's get the description started. In this last year dedicated to the Empire Strikes Back, Kenner will release nine new action figures in the toy line. There were R2-D2 with sensor scope, C-3PO with removable limbs, Bounty Hunter 4LOM, Bounty Hunter Zukus, Imperial TIE Fighter, Bespin Security Guard, Cloud Car Pilot, at, -AT Commander, and Luke Skywalker Hot Battle Gear. Early Spring 1982, Kenner will start a new action figure special offer. Bounty Hunter Fall Home will be available with 5 proof of purchase, and offer will expire August 31st 1982. Once subscribed to the offer, you will need 10 to 12 weeks to receive action figures in your mailbox. Full home will be available on store shelves in fall 1982. Each figure is sold with a rectangular cardboard packaging where a character is placed in a transparent blister that allowed future owner to choose which character he wished to buy. At the top left hand side, you will see a stock unique keeping number with an assortment number who will disappear step by step in 1982. A pre-punch hole that allows action figures to be stored on displays. At the top right hand side, you will find age for an up sentence, Empire Strikes Back logo centered with figure's name below, a large picture of the character with special for advertising printed on a card, and at the bottom right hand side, you will find a Kenner logo. Cardboard foot peg is designed to hold action figures and color match with background and action figures name tag. You can also find some foot pegs with a different shape. Apart C3PO figures, all characters got their weapon taped on the actual blister next to the figure. Through times, some tapes got dry and you will find some loose weapon in the package. At the back of the card, you will find several different prints during the whole year. The first one will display Empire Strikes Back logo on the left hand side with a new picture of 47 action figures and full home special offer at the bottom part of the card. Action figures picture shows new characters starting from the bottom part with two older figures in between new set followed by 37 previous action figures. Full home special offer, a barcode and a proof of purchase on the right hand side with a smaller letter U designation factory code for Unitoy facility supplier in Hong Kong. The second one is designed with a new action figures picture, include full arm figure with new vehicles and creatures at the bottom part of the card. You will find Scott Walker vehicle, Tonton Open Billy, Hot Wampa, vehicle maintenance energizer, tripod laser cannon, radio laser cannon, two new mini rigs designed by Kenner and approved by Lucasfilm, Rebel Transport Vehicle, a barcode, a proof of purchase, and the letter U, which means Unitoy, one of the kind of plastic injection supplier in Hong Kong. Third card back is designed with the same action figures picture as the second one, with a blue light contour and shows Admiral Akbar special offer at the bottom part of the card, with a black and white proof of purchase and the letter S for smile, a Hong Kong plastic injection factory and a barcode. Admiral Akbar's special offer will be described after action figures description. R2-D2 is now available with a sensor scope, designed with large stickers all around cylinder's droid body. R2 comes with articulated legs below chrome top. Sensor scope move inside R2's chrome top and lift up by a tiny tab located on Raider's top part. R2's head turn at 360 degrees with click noise 
and fit pegs hole. C3PO is a brilliant gold color figure who comes now with a large backpack. Arms and legs are detachable to recreate Stormtrooper's attack on Cloud City. Place backpack on Chewie's back to hold C3PO pieces starting by C3PO's body, then plug right arm into body and add both legs on the back and left arm to recreate Rebels Cloud City escape. Luke Skywalker comes with a well-equipped hot battle gear with scarf, laser rifle and binoculars. Head moves from left to the right and right to the left with arms move from shoulders position with movable legs where you can see Peg's hole underneath feet and hold his laser rifle in his right hand. at, -AT commander wear a heavy battle imperial suit and comes with articulated arms from shoulder position. He holds the laser gun in his right hand with movable legs on hips position with Peg's hole underneath feet. Heads move from right to the left and left to the right. Wearing glasses and a large helmet, twin pod cloud car pilot holds a calm leg in his left hand. Heads move from the right to the left with movable arms and hold his laser pistol in his right hand. And legs move from hips position with pegs hold underneath feet. Bespin security guard comes with long boots and a hat with laser pistol in his right hand and golden seam aging on his suit. Heads move from the right to the left and arms move from shoulder position. He holds his laser gun on his right hand. Legs move from hips position with pegs hold underneath feet. Bounty Hunter Folam comes with a long thick coat and some kind of harness hold on the back of the figure with a double barrel shotgun. Arms move from shoulder position with head moves from right to the left and left to the right. He holds his laser gun on his right hand. Legs move from hips position with pegs hold underneath feet. Bounty Hunter Zukus comes with a heavy laser rifle. Heads move from the right to the left and left to the right and arms move from shoulder position. He holds his laser rifle from his right hand with movable legs and pegs hold underneath feet. Imperial TIE fighter pilot comes with a large helmet and a chest ventilator device with backpack. Head is fixed still and arms move from shoulder position. He holds his laser gun on his right hand with movable legs where you can see pegs hold underneath feet. With maximum secrecy around Return of the Jedi upcoming May 25th, 1983, Kenner is however allowed to organize a special offer with one unknown Jedi character in fall 1982. Against six proof of purchase, future owner will be receiving, 10 to 10 weeks later, the Admiral Akbar with an introduction note to understand from which side this new figure come from. Character will be also delivered with Return of the Jedi Flyer Theater release date, plus a list of new toy who will be available from mid-1983 and latest Kenner Star Wars toy catalog released in 1982. Offer will expire January 31st, 1983. In 1982, Lando Calrissian will get a new smile and white color into his eyes. This evolution was considered to be more realistic for this character. One last detail is with Cloud Car Pilot packaging. Extra term like Twin Pod was added on the top of the name to help customer to identify in a better way from which vehicle these figures belong to. Later on, Kenner decided to come back to Cloud Car Pilot name only with 1983 Return of the Jedi packaging. I hope this review was an interest to you. Feel free to leave any comment, they are always welcome. Put a thumb up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And see you soon for a new Chronic Vintage.